In a show of touching unity, the royal family returned to the spotlight last month, with Princess Catherine making her brave return to the public after six months of her battle with cancer. But while the king looked overjoyed as he laughed with his much-loved daughter-in-law, along with her husband and children, the estranged royal has been left upset and emotional over the photos of the princess, who he once called the sister I never had. It really hammered home how he's an outsider at this point. After all, he would just love to have her, along with the rest of his family, back in his life properly. And now, great-aunt of two brothers, in her recent statement, Princess Anne has showed significant support for Prince William's move to address issues with Queen Camilla and Harry's concerns, while also making Princess Catherine's return. It understands that King Charles's proposal to streamline the monarchy has faced both praise and resistance. This is due to a decrease in the number of active royal family members, coupled with a rise of the monarchy's costs. Therefore, Princess Anne has endorsed Prince William's bold action aimed at improving the British monarchy's condition. Her support has noticeably shifted the dynamics within the royal family, especially given her usual reticence to publicly discuss family matters. In addition, her niece's return in August symbolizes not only a personal victory, but also a strategic effort to enhance public perception of the royal family. Together with Prince William, the princess is working on a comprehensive plan to revitalize the monarchy's standing. Recent reports suggest that Prince William has taken significant steps to address inefficiencies within the royal household, including terminating some underperforming staff and cutting expenses. This move has impacted Queen Camilla's sister and son, who are reportedly receiving financial aid from the royal treasury. Public support for these changes aligns with broader efforts to reduce royal expenditures and focus on impactful community initiatives. The role and responsibilities of working royals are being revised, with Prince William and Princess Catherine actively recruiting new members to ensure the monarchy's long-term preservation. As well as being close allies, Zara and husband Mike Tyndale are also both reportedly very close with the Wells, with Zara acting as godmother to the couple's children. Zara is the sister William never had. They've always had terrific fun together, and they've always supported each other. Mike has also revealed in the past some of what has happened when the two couples have been out on double dates. Mike revealed that Catherine was uber-competitive at beer pong and called William One Pint Willie, claiming the heir to the throne didn't drink much. Away from podcasts and double dates, there has been speculation that Zara could step up to more royal activities during Princess Anne's recovery from a concussion and royals' recovery from their cancer diagnoses. However, a friend says that this is far from becoming a reality. Zara can support her family and be invited to family occasions and other events, but also continue to live her life and do what she wants. The two things can coexist. Why would she want to change that? Meanwhile, the monarch is reportedly struggling with the well-known estrangement of his two sons. Images of Prince Harry cutting a lonely figure at St. Paul's Cathedral during his 10th anniversary service for the Invictus Games, while his father was too busy to see him, was a sure sign of his ever-deepening rift with the royals, who he last made official contact with in November to wish Charles a happy birthday. Insiders also reported that the Wells would not entertain any contact with him during what has been an incredibly difficult time for their family. Now, the former Duke of Sussex is taking matters into his own hands and is planning another imminent trip to the UK to beg for the family's and Catherine's forgiveness. Thus far, his attempts at reconciliation have failed, and it's becoming increasingly clear that the royals have washed their hands of him, as his family continues to attack the monarchy during its most vulnerable time. But one of the biggest casualties of all has been Harry's relationship with his sister, who once gifted him a grow-your-own-girlfriend kit for Christmas, with the two famously sharing the same sense of humor.